Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm just going to show you a little bit about multi time frame analysis. Now, I did a live stream earlier on this. Lots of guys who follow me, uh, they don't dedicate themselves enough to this part of trading. That's why I'm going through it. Every time you look at a chart, any particular asset, FX, uh, equity markets, crypto, stocks, doesn't matter what it is, you need to train your eye to be able to go through the top to the bottom in terms of time frames. You need to start way up at your monthly, weekly, daily, go down four hour, one hour, 50 minute, five minute, one minute for scalp, okay? You need to be able to use the large spectrum and I'm gonna show you why, because it just paints that whole picture for you. So let's do it. Now what you can see on the four hour for gold, for example, I know lots of guys are looking at gold, so I will give my idea on it after we talk about time frames. You can see it's starting to pull down, okay? Now, it's pulling down on your four hour chart just beyond your, uh, let me just get rid of the telegram, just beyond your 40 moving average, as you can see. It comes down a little bit. Now, some people might say, okay, well, I wanna buy that because I've had several candles down, I'm coming to early support, all that stuff. But if you flicked your weekly, does it look so good to buy now? Okay, can you see how high the price is? Look at all those green candles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen candles in an up swoop. Yes, you've got little blips of red, but the market continues up and up and up and up. Where would you have rather bought it? Would you have rather bought it there? Or would you have rather bought it? at the top now because you're only using the four hour strategy you know as some call it the four hour strategy the two second 46 millisecond strategy it's all a load of rubbish okay if you're buying this your risk is incredible and the reason why is because if you flicked your daily you've just come up from 1620 to way past 1920 okay so 300 dollars of a move and you want to buy it now no don't do it you want to come back to reasonable key support so you can scale into the market you want to see a fairly swift return nearer to key moving averages and price needs to be back in reality it needs to be back at a good level for you to get long if you're buying up here okay and you're not a scout trader you want to get wasted and if you're doing it because you'll look we'll get rid of the indicators just for a minute if you swap to um the one hour Okay, yes, the price is falling. Some people might say, okay, I want to buy that. But you've got all this room to come down to. Okay, just look at it. If I zoom out, look how high up the price is. And you want to buy that. Okay, you might get away with a scalp trade or an early tiny entry, early little do uh, dip in your toe in with an early exit. But for the general mar uh, population of the trading world, it's going to be much lower down. Okay. Because you you know you're better off buying there, but you would have only seen that if you put your time frame up and actually had a look at the market. Okay, if you put your time frame up, you would see 1880. Okay, you could start there, and you've got better support down here and a more reasonable market value price. So that is why you use the whole spectrum of the market. Now, if I do that now, if I go to the monthly, you can see again that this price is really high. Okay, this price is clearly high because you've come up for three months in a row. Now, if I reflect on previous price action up here, okay, you can see we've got a previous high there, and then on the left of that is another previous high. You're not gonna see those previous highs if you're sitting on a one hour chart, okay? You can't see them. You can only see these very recent highs. It does not give you the bigger picture. So when you're using market sentiment as well as the bigger picture in the market, you get an excellent combination of tools to help you practice track price at any time pretty much okay so just remember that if you're looking to track price you want accurate market value you're going to have to be using all your time frames you won't get away with using one or two okay the five minute is not enough you need to use the one daily uh, the weekly and the monthly to get that overall move you need to see into the future how far you've got until a certain price point at any time and how you're going to act when you get there so that's it for this video, guys. The focus of today, use all your time frames. Don't just fall into the trick of using one. It really doesn't work very well. Just use them all because you can use them together 
and it creates a good picture of the market, gives you a good view of what's going on, and you can trade on the smaller time frames frequently. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. See you in the next one.